Hello everyone, this is Bookworm Whisper, and I just want to make a little video for you guys. Um, I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite Christmas movies. Um, it's getting so close to Christmas now, I can't believe how close it's getting. Um, it's crazy. Uh, I love Christmas. I love the feeling of Christmas, um, just the festivities and the the lights and the and the hot chocolate and the cold and I just love everything about this time of year. Um, but I want to talk about some of my favorite Christmas movies. Um, I don't have any movies with me to tap on or anything, so I thought just whisper and soft speak in this video. So the first one I'm going to start with is One Magic Christmas. Um, funny enough, um, I, I found out about this movie through a video of um, Red Rose Whisper um, and she was talking about some of her favorite Christmas movies and One Magic Christmas was on the list and then I saw that was on Hulu last year and I watched it and I loved it. It was so good. It gives you that nice warm Christmas feeling. Um, it has Mary, um, Ma Mary Steinberg in it, I think her name is. Um, and pretty much it's about a mother that doesn't um, she's kind of like Scrooge, like she doesn't, you know, she's so negative and, and, you know, she's only, she doesn't have the Christmas spirit and then her, her children and especially her daughter are trying to get her into the Christmas spirit and it's just a very amazing movie, um, how everything ends up happening. I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but if you have not seen it, I recommend that you see it. One Magic Christmas. Okay, the next one I want to talk about is The Family Stone. Um, I love The Family Stone. Uh, it's got uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, it's got Diane Keaton, Dermot Maroney, Luke Wilson, Rachel McAdams. It's got a really, really amazing uh, all-star cast. And pretty much it's about this uh, family. And it centers on this one of the sons brings his very, very uptight, uh, kind of snarky, yeah, uh, girlfriend home for Christmas and everybody's making fun of her and she's just uh, you know she wears her hair in a bun real tight bun and she walks around and she wears suits everywhere and everything and she's just very uptight but um, uh, you know they make fun of her at first but then you know stuff starts happening and and her sister actually ends up coming to save the day and something happens with her and just a lot of amazing things happen in the movie um, and especially something that happens with the mother as well and I don't want to ruin it for the people that have not seen it yet but there are sad aspects and there are happy aspects to the movie, which is what I love the most about it. And it's just so such a good movie, uh, especially Luke Wilson. I love Luke Wilson and in, uh, in The Family Stone. I thought he did an amazing job. Um, I've never really seen him in a rom-com before, but he did very good in this one. Very, very good movie. Um, another favorite one of mine that I actually ordered online, and I should be getting it soon, is The Family Man with Nicolas Cage. 
I know a lot of people make fun of Nicolas Cage. They said he's not a very good actor. But I love him and The Family Man. The Family Man is probably my favorite Christmas movie of all time. Um, I know it's not like it's not like um, like most Christmas movies. It's not set fully on Christmas, but it has that nice, you know, Christmas feel to it. Um, it's actually another movie that's kind of like a Christmas Carol. Uh, he meets this angel in a convenience store, and pretty much the angel gives him a chance to see what would have happened if he had stayed with his girlfriend uh, 20 years before. And, like, he's really this hot shot um, guy, rich guy at the beginning of the movie, and he's. He's really, ugh, you know, I just couldn't stand him at the beginning of the movie, but then, you know, he, you know, he sees what would have been like if he had stayed with his serious girlfriend instead of going to Paris, um, and making all the money and everything, and it's just so sweet, such a sweet movie, and I, I think Nicolas Cage and, um, Tion Loney? Tia Loney. I can't pronounce her name, but I think they have great chemistry. And it's such a sweet, lovely, lovely, heartwarming movie. <coughs> I love that movie so much. Oh, I can't wait to get it so I can watch it. Okay, the next movie is How the Grinch Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. Um... Yeah, I, lo I love the Jim Carrey version of How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Um, I thought Jim Carrey did such a great job as the Grinch. Um, I think Jim Carrey can do anything. <laughs> um, even though I haven't seen a good movie from him in a while, I thought him as the Grinch was a perfect fit for him. And uh, everybody knows what the Grinch is. <laughs> I have not seen the new Grinch. My mom took my niece to see the Grinch, but I didn't. I saw the preview and I was like, eh. You know, they make him out to be like a sweet Grinch, and I don't like that. So, nah, nah, I'm good on that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, how the Grinch stole Christmas. Alright, let's see what else. Oh, Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase. That's my favorite comedy Christmas movie. I can watch the movie over and over and over and not get tired of it. I love Christmas Vacation. I love all the vacation movies and Christmas Vacation is probably my favorite out of all of them. I grew up on Christmas Vacation. We always watch it every year. Um, very funny, funny movie funny, hilarious movie. I love Cousin Eddie <laughs> and uh, you know, everybody. So, <laughs> Christmas Vacation, that's a good movie too. I'm starting to get tired. I'm like talking into my microphone, but my eyes are closed. <laughs> I worked really hard today. I, I vacuumed my, my whole living room, and then I put my tree up, and then I went to the movies. So, I'm very tired. I got my doggie beside me right now. And she's tired too. Um, I'm trying to think of more Christmas movies that I enjoy. Oh, Christmas with the Cranks. That's another comedy uh, Christmas movie that I like. I like Christmas with the Cranks better than I like the Santa Claus movies. Um, with t uh, Tim Allen and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis uh, where they uh, decide to skip Christmas and save up and go on a cruise instead I think that movie is so funny I love that movie and um, let's see what else what else what else what else 
um, I, I've actually watched a couple of Christmas movies on Netflix. I saw The uh, Princess Switch with Vanessa Hudgens, and I actually really enjoyed that movie. I thought it was super cute. It was super cheesy, but it was actually really good. I uh, actually enjoyed it. And I think there was another Christmas movie I saw. I just can't remember the name of it. I don't think I'm going to be able to remember it. No, I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, that one was really cute. Really, really cute. Alright, you guys. I'm going to get off of here and go to bed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.